My name is Gerald. I run a production company called Paper Street Production. My name is Brian Ordiales. Ko nagtayo ako ng sarili kong negosyo. That's why we've met. So I put up Cloud Studios. Direct, bakit nga ba naisip natin tong podcast? Usually kasi pag naka-whiskey ka, mas open ka. Mas open. Diba? Yeah. And today, direct. Now, we've already poured our drinks and we're ready to talk about our topic. Ano pa pag-usapan natin, direct? Grit and... Resiliency. Diba? And perfect. Ganda ng topic natin perfect. today. So, direct, when you talk about grit, No, grit and resiliency. What comes into mind? Well, unang-una, grit is gigil. Gigil mm. ka. Gigil ka for, for success. Pa- ano gigil? Um, paano ko ba explain yung gigil? Parang yung, yung, yung drive mo. Mm. Yung drive mo to do something. Leading towards, towards a certain goal that you have yeah, in mind, right? Yeah, inside your career or personal growth or yeah. pwedeng... Isang bagay lang na gusto mong gawin, sports. Mm. Anything. Basta anything about life. Yeah. Yun yun. So, resiliency naman, in my opinion, is that how you ba- bounce back from adversity. Mm. So, marami akong taong kilalang ganyan. Attracted ako sa mga taong ganyan. Sobrang excited ako actually na maka-invite tayo ng very special guest. Of no? course. But you can share those kinds of stories. Ako, Bray, personal, ano lang, ako may experience din ako ganyan before. But mm-hmm. before that, gusto ko malaman, ano ba meaning sa'yo ng grit and resiliency? Uh, for me, like what you said, grit is about doing whatever it takes because you have your eye on the goal. Mm-hmm. And whatever happens, lagi kang nagpuput in the best effort, you know, day in and day out again. To make sure na ma-achieve mo yun. So, para ka palang mamba mentality. Mamba mentality. <laughs> Oo, oh, tama. Great. And, like resiliency. I said, resiliency is, I would say, tayo mga Pilipino, talagang resilient tayo eh, di ba? Na kahit anong dilubyo ang, ang maranasan natin. <laughs> kahit anong bagyo. Kahit anong bagyo, nakangiti pa din ang mga Ito Pilipino. Yan. Yan. So, I think we're natural, naturally resilient. And like what you said, resiliency is about being able to bounce back from other adversities and using that adversity to, to your, your advantage. advantage. Oh, <laughs> parang you're able to convert that that um, lesson, di ba, in your life into your own strength, turning your mess into a message. <laughs> as cliche it may sound. <laughs> Kasi marami na din na gumagamit doon. Yun. Turn your test into your testimony. Mga <laughs> ganun direct. So, yeah, that for me really defines resiliency. Yeah. Alam mo, hindi lahat ng tao merong grit and resiliency. Maraming mm-hmm. tao, chill lang sila. And there's mm-hmm. nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Oh, We, yeah. We're not here to discriminate people dahil iba sila ng pananaw with us. Um, but really, ito kasi yung mga, mga bagay na we feel like sa amin, in our own lives, it works. And ito yung talagang we can relate to. Correct. Diba? Correct. Alam mo, just to share, no? um, yung magiging first guest natin sa next episode, mm. she share niya yung life story niya. Sobrang galing kasi parang doon ako nakakita ng tao na from nothing, mm. naging something tapos pumagsak pagkabagsak bumangon ulit ibang klase yung parang ano no flow parang ups and downs of life ibang klase kasi parang kapag ikaw lubog na lubog ka na sa problema at sa utang mm. paano ka ba magba-bounce back parang how will you how will you recover you, recover, from, recover, from, recover from from that that situation So, kaya itong tao to very special sa akin kasi itong tao na to na-inspire ako sa kanya. Hmm. And, alam mo ba, magugulat ka, naging blessing pa sa kanya. Yung downfall. Yung downfall niya. Kasi kung hindi nangyari yon hindi siya kung sino siya ngayon. Hmm. And this person, ha, ano to, marami tong followers sa Facebook at sa YouTube. 
Ako ba kilala to ng mga nakikinig? Ayun na nga, ayun na nga. Aba. Pero ang, ako lang, happy lang ako for her. Sobrang yeah. happy ako for her success. And uh, uh, inspired ako sa kanya. Kasi nga, kung ano achieve niya. And naalala mo, I think second episode natin, yung may binigit ako sa isang, isang kaibigan ko, mm. na businessman, mm. businessman, na galing rin sa wala, dating naglilinis lang ng bus. Mm. But now, he's somebody... I can't say the profession, no? Kasi meron... Aside being a businessman, meron din siyang ibang career. Pero, yun, hindi ko lang sasabihin dito. But, believe din ako doon sa tao na yun. Kasi, ibang klaseng level of achievement Achieve. na nakuha niya. Kaya, ako, for me, ang grit and resiliency equals to greatness. Mm. Kasi, hindi mo aabutin yung greatness without adversity. Kailangan 'yun, bray. Grabe na nakakabilib 'yung mga ganitong mga ganitong story. Um, and this is not in any way invalidating 'yung mga tao na who did not make it. Mm-hmm. You know, kasi we we often uh, talk about 'yung mga ganitong kind of stories. Correct. Some of them are outliers, 'di ba? Na parang yes, na you did everything that you can para may ahon yung buhay mo, buhay ng pamilya mo. Right? And that's good. Talagang masarap pakinggan yung mga gano'ng kinds of story. And we can relate to them. But we also need to understand that there are people na, kumbaga, who did not make it. Yeah. Right? Pero meron naman din yung iba yung sobra-sobra meron sila. Pero, nagtatrabaho pa rin. Ibig hmm. sabihin, if they have a let's say, a business, fineform nila into an empire. So, believe din ako doon. Mag, yeah. mag, magkaiba eh. Kung baga, so, parang, hindi ko din discredit yung mga blessed. Yeah, yeah. ba? Diba? Um, merong certain level of greatness doon sa ginagawa rin na yun eh. Magkaiba sila eh. Totally yeah. different ball game. Pero, ang greatness pala, by the way, guys, ha, depende yan sa taong kausap mo. Kasi kung para sa'yo, ang greatness is Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods. Ibang, ibang, ibang level. Ibang level yon Pero level na. if we're talking about real people, real life situation, for me, yung magiging istorya nitong next guest natin, for me, she did great. Yeah. Kasi, hindi biro eh. Hindi biro. So, may ano talaga eh. May certain um, amount of gravity of how you incorporate grit and resilience in your own life. Correct, correct. Diba? Kasi iba-iba naman tayo ng starting point eh. Tama yan. Tama ba? Tama, tama. So a lot of us, some of us, are privileged enough to be able to put up, let's say, a business, for example. And yung iba, challenged. Diba? But either way, if you have grit and resilience, the point is, it's gonna be easier for you to bounce back any adversities that comes your way. Correct. Yeah. So, kasi, ikaw, Derek. Sige. Um, do you want to share no, anything no, else? naman. Pero, kasi, ang adversity is something na serious matter yan eh. Kasi, uh-huh. minsan, sa ibang tao, ah, pinagdaan ni Bray. Yan, oo nga. Bali, wala yun. Pari, mas, mas mahirap yun sa akin. Pataasan pala to ng i. <laughs> Mali eh. Kasi, hin- yung threshold mo, iba sa threshold ko eh. So, baka yeah. naman, pag nagpalit tayo ng situation, hindi mo naman kayanin yun sa akin. Yeah. It might sound simple, but iba-iba case-to-case basis. Yeah. So, ako, for me, we have to respect everybody. Yeah. Exactly. That's what diba? why we have to be mindful and respect one another's journey and path in life. Correct. Uh, Hindi mo pwede discredit ang isang tao kung, kung yun lang yung gusto niya. Mm-hmm. Eh, yun doon siya masaya eh. Diba? At kung sa point na, hindi, kung baga hindi pa niya nababango yung sarili niya, Diba? Eh, hindi, kung, pa, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Hindi pa, oo, oh, hindi pa tapos ang boxing eh. <laughs> <laughs> Parang, andun pa siya sa point na maybe he or she is trying to find her own way. His or her own, her own way. Alam mo, Bray, diba? ang ano ko nga dito, parang sabi ko, ako ay try to practice yung attitude na pinupuri ko yung mga tao. Mm. Before kasi, it's hard for me to give compliment eh. Why? Why? Sometimes kasi, parang, it's either lalaki ulo ng tao or baka, alam mo yun, parang feeling ko sometimes hindi good yun for the person if I do that. Depende, case-to-case basis. Case-to-case eh. basis, yeah. Pero ngayon, 
I try to see the good in everyone. Mm. Kasi baka mamaya yung pinagdadaanan yun, di mo alam. Yeah. Di ba? So, yung pagpinuri mo yung tao na yun, baka from there, mabago niya yung buhay niya. Yeah. Or meron siyang, ay, shit, may naniwala sa akin. Di ba? I'm sure... Totoo, totoo. I'm sure uh, naramdaman mo yan. Lalo exactly, na sa career yeah. natin, sa, sa mundo natin. Maraming Some, rejections, yeah. maraming achievements, pero mixed emotions yan eh. Di ba? Yeah. And remember, sa art industry, ano yun yung art kasi subjective. Yeah. For some people, magaling ka. For some people, so-so ka. Oh. For some people, hindi. So, dapat matibay si Kmura mo. Mm. Diba? I think, ano eh, um, I like what you said. And maybe, just to put, like, a certain analogy. Um, para lang yan, just like saying na, kindness goes a long way for some other people's life. Correct. Parang well said. If, right? if 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 you show kindness to someone, baka mama yun yung kailangan niya to turn his or her her life around. Diba? Parang may, may ganun akong mentality din eh. Parang you, you the way you do things, your action may effect yan eh, may ripple effect yan eh to the lives of people around you. Eh. Correct. So, kung kaya mo, be kind. But be kind to others. Bright, tanda mo yung sinabi ko, ah, yung law of universe. Mm. Na, kung ano yung binato mo, babalik sa'yo. Mm. So, kapag nagbato ka ng kindness, mas maraming magiging kind sa'yo. Pag nagbato ka ng negativity, mas maraming magiging negative ang outlook sa'yo. Mm. So, ako, always practice kindness. And yeah. grateful. Diba, lagi ko sinasabi yung grateful. Dapat grateful ka. Hindi pa, ako, diba, sinasabi ko, like, doon sa mga past uh, episode natin na parang hmm, parang vague lang na do you do I consider myself successful? Yeah. Ako I'm very grateful na nahanap ko yung passion ko at naging yeah. negosyo ko siya. Pero sakto yun direct sige ko. It doesn't mean that I'm contented. That's totally different. Yeah. Ano, uh, things no. Pero I'm grateful and I'm happy with what I'm doing. So siguro nga to answer it. Tama ka. I am successful kasi Masaya ako eh. Mm. Every time that I'm doing a certain project, it's like seeing my wife for the first time. Yun. Diba? Ba- I'm, I'm cheesy. Sure. I'm cheesy. <laughs> na- De, I'm sure. Baka i-share niya to eh. So, oh, sige, sige. Kailangan, pa- kailangan ko sabihin uh, niya. Pa- pa- pero pa- kidding pa- aside, alam mo yun, talaga family first all the time. So, yeah. you were saying something, sorry, nakat kita. Um, yeah, I think maganda yung mga sinishare mo na, uh, na stories. And usually, your passion can contribute to your grit. Correct. Kasi if you're not passionate about something, but mo expect na ipepersevere mo yung bagay na ginagawa mo <laughs> continuously, di ba? Mm. Parang hindi siya, hindi siya aligned. Yeah, so, tsaka you cannot sustain it eh. Kapag exactly. Ka, kapag ka, hindi ka 100%. Yeah. So, and yun, just also to mention something, no? Ako, moto ko, parang always live your life 100%. Mm everything that you do in life, dapat, kung kaya mo pasobrahan pa, pasobrahan mo. Kasi, uh-huh. yun yung magdadala sa'yo to the next level. Eh. So, something that, uh, parang food for the thought. Yeah. Pero babalik at babalik ka direct na, dapat mahanap mo yung passion or I would say yung right path for Correct. you eh. Uh-huh. Before you can really say na, you know, sa certain t- may cert- level of certainty ka na, oh my gosh, I can do this 100%. Mm-hmm. Any time of the day. Pero ako, Bray, anything eh. I mean, bakit ko sinasabi yung gano'n na, kunyari, let's say, I'm mean into sports or ito mm. na lang, uh, video production. Hindi pwedeng hindi ko ibigay yung 100% ko kasi pangalan mo yung nakasalalay doon eh. And number yeah. two, parang bakit mo pagagawin yan kung hindi kung hindi mo, mo gagalingan. Hindi mo gagalingan, di ba? Parang wag na. Sayang, di ba? Sayang yung time, sayang yung effort. So, ako, kumbaga, I mean, it doesn't mean na pag sinabi kong binigay mo 100%, mo gagaling ka na sagad. No. Uh-huh. Pero, try to put in a lot of effort and hard work para at least if you don't achieve yung something na, alam mo yun, nilulook forward mo, hindi ka madi-disappoint. Kasi yeah. at the end of the day, alam mo, I you give it. You gave it your all. Yes. Correct. So, ikaw, Derek, how do you cope 
from adversities? Ako, marami rin kasi akong life experiences, no? Na baka butin tayo bukas pag kinuwento ko lahat, no? But ako, sample, uh, my mother is a single parent. Yeah, mommy. Oo. So, tapos, I never saw my dad. My dad's Persian. Mom's Filipina. So, growing up without a dad is a little bit, how would I say it? Siguro, less, hindi ko alam kung less privilege ang dapat uh, term, pero parang it's harder for me kasi nga, isa lang magulang mo eh. Hmm. Pero, it does mean na yung nanay ko, hindi niya nagampanan yung pagiging tatay. Uh-huh. So, ako, parang, instead of me dwelling on that, ang inisip ko, kung ano yung advantage na nanay lang ang meron ako. Mm. So, gets mo? Perspective mo. Perspective mo, iibahin mo. It has to come from you eh. Parang ako nung bata ako, I wasn't privileged enough to have finer things eh. Mm-mm. So, ako, I need to work double time for me to buy the things that I want. Which, kung hindi nangyari yon, hindi ako ngayon kung sino ako eh. Mm-mm. So, it all boils down pa rin to grit and resiliency. Yeah. Kasi kung hinayaan ko lang na, ah, okay na ako ganito, contento na ako sa ganito. So, yun yeah. na lang ako. Diba? I think what I got from you is you have to shift your perspective. And it comes from yung sa resiliency part, no? Shift your perspective and reframe kung ano man yung negative na nangyari. And try to form a positive outlook. Correct. From that experience. Tama. Diba? Kasi so ako, ako, kung, remember, kung you're always looking at the negative, you won't be able to bounce back eh. Wala, if you weren't able to rephrase. Bali wala. Ako, Bray, alalala ko, we were talking over the phone, I think that was like three days ago. Anong ginawa mo? Paano ka nakabounce back dun sa mga, alam mo yun, series of unfortunate events? <laughs> Um, wala naman akong parang sobrang tearjerker na story. Ah. You know? katulad, <laughs> katulad mo, ah. na kompleto naman yung pamilya ko. Um, we're, we're basically middle class and just like most of us na um, we weren't really provided with amenities. Uh, amenities. <laughs> amenities talaga yung term natin. No? Amenities and um, kumbaga, we, tayo press tayo ng pananaw eh. We work hard on the things that we have. So, parang it's also a way for us to appreciate yung sarili natin. Correct. Kasi we give back to ourselves eh. Mm-hmm. Pero we also give to other people. Pay it forward. Uh, parang you're always paying it forward. So, kahit na alam mong walang balik, you give or add value to other people. So, ako, adversity-wise, siguro if I may share yung, yung sa pandemic, kasi like sobrang humina yung negosyo namin sa family, family business namin, and I was stuck with, um, since I, I was the provider sa aming fi- fiancé ko and I. So, I was stuck with the dilemma na, okay, either gamitin ko yung ipon ko pang pakasal, <laughs> <laughs> or I just set up my own business and paikot ko yung pera. So, so dumating, ngayon, alam ko rin pinili mo. <laughs> oh, naman. Kasi, like, I feel like, um, spending on a wedding na one time off. No, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Ah. Importante yung wedding and I want to give the best wedding for my, my fiancé. Pero, alam mo yun, dahil last money mo na yun eh. Tapos, nag, bumabagsak pa yung, yung income ko. So, na, parang eventually, kung hinayaan ko siya mangyari, madideplete. Pero, was, Bray, alam mo, ngayon palang kinukwento mo yan, meron na akong sasabihin sa'yo. Ang ginawa ano? mo, alam mo ka, no? Ano? Go big or go home. Go big or go home. As in, direct, as in, umiiyak na talaga ako nung, like, start of 2020. Alam niyo ng mga kaibigan ko in our creative community. Umiiyak ako kasi hindi ko na alam kung ano mangyayari in the next three to six months. Hindi naman ako katulad ng iba na may story na last 200 pesos in, <laughs> 200 pesos in the bank. Hindi naman ganun. But I was so worried with all the bills to the point na, actually, nasa, pwede ko ba sabihin yung figure? <laughs> It's up to you. Eh. Pero kung ika, ika up to so you. So, parang... Um, Totoo to naman, point, real people, real talk tayo yeah. dito, di ba? So, so, you know, you can... Parang... Um, so, parang sinugal ko na ang ginawa ko, nag-buy and sell ako using my credit card. Okay. To the point na parang I was 300,000 in, in, in debt. debt. 
Okay. Yeah. So I was parang I was bawling up and crying and parang hindi ko na alam kung saan kukunin. Pero I I chose to risk it noon no time na yon just for it, for us may, may pangtawid. Tas doon na, na parang sabi ko um I'll use the last of my savings to put up Cloud Studio. <laughs> But essentially, yung a lot of equipment that I have right now is slowly accumulated over time. So I think yun yung maybe story of resiliency that a lot of people could could relate to sometimes your future seems unclear it's bleak gloomy hindi mo na alam kung ano yung gagawin mo but take some time give it time and for sure marerealize mo kung bakit mo ba na-experience yung mga bagay na yun pero bright for ang diff- each gap natin kasi malayo eh mm. um pero respect ako kung ano yung ginawa mo kasi I'm sure hindi lahat ng tao kaya. Wala na options. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Parang your back is against the wall and right. you don't know what to do anymore. And kumbaga, you have to think of a lot of ways para lang maitawid. And eventually, if by by the the glory of in the grace of God, <laughs> naitawid ko kumbaga and I was able to pay off uh, that debt. Alam mo, na-inspire ako sa storya mo. Let's say 10 years from now, are we going to be Super successful or are we going to fail? Mm. Then it all boils down to grit and, and resiliency. So, exactly. Bray, I think um, pwede mo na sabihin sa kanila yung surprise nating guest sa kanila for the next episode. Yeah, definitely. Sige, direct. Uh-huh. So, yung, yung next episode namin, mag-invite na kami ng, ng guest na share niya yung buong buhay niya na nangyari sa kanya. And maybe you guys could learn off from the experience as well in yung story niya. Correct, correct. So, yeah. watch out for her. Ayan, nagbihin na kami ni Kulu Babae. Babae. Yeah. Babae. So, And with that, thank you so much everyone for listening in. We will see you on the next episode. Oy, pero don't forget to subscribe sa <laughs> yeah. Apple Podcast. Uh, follow and subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. All right. See you guys. See you. Cheers. <laughs>